Hello everybody, it's Jonah here again with another movie review. Um, today is Foreign Movie Friday, and I'm going to review another movie. This time it's not going to be an Asian movie. We're going to go from Asia, we're going to go to Europe. It's a, it's a classic movie from 1998. It's an Oscar winning movie, and it's one of the best movies from that year. Um, it's one of the best um, Italian movies out there, and it's Roberto Benigni's Life is Beautiful. This movie is tremendous, it really is. It's uh, very Capra-esque in its sensibilities and the way it's, it's told. And this is the second foreign film in a row where I've reviewed, where it was where you can totally see how Frank Capra totally influenced you know, the movie. It is a powerfully funny movie, a powerfully sad movie, um, and a very just heart filming, lovingly movie, loving movie. And Roberto Bonini blew it out of the water. As much as he's an insane, crazy guy, he knows how to direct and he, uh, his performance is phenomenal. I mean, um, I loved it as a kid growing up. I kind of lost track of it, then I re then I re got it like about three, two or three months ago we watched it, and I was blown away by it. You know, it's one of the best movies ever made. It truly is. Uh, his performance was amazing. You know, it's very subtle at times. It's over the top, but the Roberto Benigni, the man, or Roberto and the Roberto character in this movie, are totally different guys. It's such a positive, heartfelt, heartfelt movie. You know. Um, it's a movie about father and son, it's a movie about family, it's a movie about love, it's a movie about innocence, you know, and uh, let me show you the blur, we talk more about the movie, okay? So this is Roberto Benigni's Life is Beautiful, the, uh, the blur is very simple, you know, when this movie, one of the first movies to come out on DVD, and I remember when this movie used to be $39.99 to buy. And this movie had absolutely no uh, special features, no um, audio commentary, no making up. It was just a movie in the trailer. And this one, Miramax, this is when like they were at the absolute height of their game when they were, they were producing a ton of like you know Best Picture nominees and stuff like that. But yeah, this is Life is Beautiful. It stars with Bruno Benigni. Uh, let's see what her name is. I believe her name is um, Nicoletta Brasi. This is his wife in real life. And of course, little kid plays Joshua with their son. Um, life is beautiful about a man named Guido who, uh, he's kind of an optimist, you know, he goes through life, different adventures, like the the first scene we see him is when he, he's in a car, he's driving with his buddy, they're trying to go from the countryside in Italy to the city, I believe they're in Florence, or Venice, maybe they're in Venice. Um, I said they might be in Florence, but they go from there to, um, Anyways, um, him and his buddy, they're on their way there, and they're, they're driving, right? And then their, their, their car doesn't have any kind of brakes, and it just uh, goes, and it just you know, lose control, and it goes through this town who uh, who thinks he's the king that's coming, right? And it's funny, because they think he's the king when, when they cheer, right? They block their own, and they actually block when the actual king really comes. And all those kind of things, and like one day, you know, he, you know, he stops at a town to uh, to get his car fixed, and the brakes and stuff, and that's where he meets uh, Dora, played by his wife here. And you know he instantly falls in love with the call. He always says, "Buongiorno, principessa," or "Good morning, princess." And several times throughout the movie, he runs into her like that. And then, like like one time, like the first time she falls from the second floor, he, he grabs her and he says, "You know, good morning, princess." That's how they meet. And the second time, you know, he goes for a bike. You know, he, he, he's, he's driving on a bike. He crashes into her, and once you know, he sees her again. And then uh, a few other times like that, you know, and it's just a, he pursues her even though she's engaged with somebody else or going out with somebody else. And eventually they, they fall in love. They have a, a kid here named Joshua, and then it's about their life and life in the you know in the, in the late thirties, early forties. And it's a uh, unfortunately Guido and his family is Jewish, and since the Nazis you know have occupied Italy, um, they have to deal with uh, Guido and his uncle and Joshua going to the concentration camps. And rather than let that defeat him, right, and you know, she, you know and destroy his son, he uh, makes us at the concentration camps are like a summer camp where it's full of games and stuff and he totally pretends to the very end you know to protect his son from losing his childhood and it does have a very sad ending too which is kind of you know quite powerful and stuff but yeah that life is beautiful in a nutshell it's about Guido and his family this is how life really is beautiful at times um anyways guys let me talk to you more about the move on the other side here okay now this movie is very sad, you know, th talking about it kind of makes you kind of very, uh, makes me think about the movie, it's a very sad, very sad movie. Um, but anyways though, besides the sadness, besides the, we'll get to the Holocaust part a little later, but I want to talk about the, actually the beginning part, it's a really good love story because you see him pursue her, and he's not obnoxious about it, yes sometimes he does run into her, 
but he's not like overbearing. He doesn't always constantly ask her out. He just talks to her and stuff, and it seems very natural. You can see them fall in love on the screen. You know, they're they're a real life couple, so it's easy for them to you know, portray love. Unlike other couples that there are other supposed real life couples, you know, like you know, that came around this time, like Eyes Wide Shut, that Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. You would have never known they were married in life, but in this movie, you can totally tell that Roberto Benigni and his wife are madly in love. And you, can, you can see it develop on the screen because they really love each other. And when they have their son, you can tell that their family works really well, you know. And um, the second half of the movie is sad because it doesn't have to do with the Holocaust. It doesn't have to do with Jewishness. And there's a very powerful scene where um, uh, Guido volunteers to translate for this German guy, uh, for this German um, soldiers. Explanation of the rules, he has translated from German to, Italy, to Italian. And so instead of actually giving the real rules, Guido pretends to, to give the rules of the game or summer camp to his son. Talking about how, like, you know, you know, every day win points. And at the end, you'll win, you'll win a great big tank you know, if, you, if you act and you behave and stuff. And um, yeah, man, just the. That scene is very funny, very sad, and very, you know, um, suspenseful because, you know, Nazis don't play, they kill people, you know, and stuff. and this movie did get a little criticized though when it came out because it did say it make kind of light of the Holocaust, but I don't think it really did. I think it was more of a, of a tale of a, a father trying to protect his son from the horrors of the, uh, the Holocaust. You know, Spielberg was when Spielberg criticized it because he said it made light of the Holocaust, but this movie was never. This movie was not about the Holocaust. This movie was not a list part two. This movie was not the pianist. It wasn't about the Holocaust. The Holocaust just happened to be there. It's about a father and son growing up in this time of this fucked up time, you know? It's about how it's how the love of father and son can conquer anything, you know, even though um even though there's that humongous horrible thing going on, you know, called the called the Holocaust. Um oops, sorry guys, there's a little commercial here. Let me just uh you know this thing. God these fucking commercials man. When did YouTube have so many goddamn commercials, you know? But um Anyways, yeah, so this movie is not really about the Holocaust. It's more about the life of Joshua's father because the movie is kind of narrated in the beginning at the end by Joshua. You know, talk about this is a story of my father, you know, and this is a story of how my father protected me and loved me. You know, and it's a pretty powerful movie. It's um, it also one of the best, the best scores you can hear behind me. It's just a very well-made movie, you know. Roberto Benigni truly hit gold with this movie. I don't think he's hit gold since then, but that doesn't matter. You know, all you have to do is hit gold once, and this is one of the best movies ever made. It truly is. It was '98 was a weird year because it had powerful movies like Saving Private Ryan, Thin Red Line. In this movie, nominated for Best Picture, and you had other movies like Shakespeare in Love, which actually won. Which I don't understand how that happened, but it was an okay movie. But this was you no, know, this was the year of, of uh, Roberto Benigni. He won Best Actor. I mean, he beat out. Tom Hanks, he beat out, you know, um, Nick Nolte that year, he beat out a whole bunch of other people, and you know, and he well deserved it, because even though he's a goofy, crazy guy in real life, his his portrayal in this movie is quite subtle at times, you can tell, you know, especially the part where he finds out that Dora is supposed to get married to another guy, you know, that's a pretty subtle performance right there, you know, anyways guys, let me show you the, the Blu-ray one more time, get you guys on your way. Now, when I mentioned before that this Blu-ray was, uh, you know, was really expensive in the beginning, like, back when the, when the, back when DVDs were first coming out, and it was thirty nine nine nine, not anymore. This movie's about seven bucks online and stuff, you know. And so, um, truly, the affordable, truly is one that you should add to your collection and stuff. But um, yeah, once again, this is Roberto Benigni's Life Is Beautiful and won three Academy Award for Best Foreign Film, Best Actor, and Best Original Score. And it is one of the best movies of the 90s. It truly is a powerful, powerful movie. Look at fatherhood. Look at sons. If you guys like this, like these kind of movies, you know, this kind of this style, I would highly suggest you buy it. Anyways, guys, um, it is romantic. It is loving. It is a good movie. If you guys like my video, please thumbs up. If you guys like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys are very well. Once again, this is Roberto Bundy's Life is Beautiful.